high foodies not wasting any time let's get into this yumminess so we're gonna start off with the sauce okay i'm mixing some orange juice soy sauce and some liquid honey i'll be adding some other things later but just mix this together and set it aside Now for the lamb chops, I rinsed them with cold water and lemon juice and pat dried them. I'm going to be drizzling on some oil all over and just massaging it into the lamb chops. Now I know sometimes we like to, you know, empty the whole pantry on the meat when we're seasoning it, okay? Especially us Caribbean folks. But when it comes to lamb, I really don't think it needs too much. So I'm not going to be adding a lot of stuff. We're just going to add a little garlic powder, onion powder, ginger powder, some salt. And then I'm going to be going in afterwards with some oregano and thyme that was minced. And of course, garlic and black pepper. That's going to be it for today. Yeah, I know somebody's like, uh, but that's a lot of seasoning. No, not really, you know. <laughs> Trust me, this is a little seasoning. <laughs> Go ahead and just massage it into the lamb chops, flip them over, rub in that seasoning. If you want to sit this in the fridge overnight, you can definitely do that. But you can do it like an hour before or even half hour before. I'm using my cast iron skillet. It's over high heat. The oil is hot. And what we're going to do is sear the lamb chops on both sides. Of course, you can turn it on its side as well if you want to. Lamb does not take a long time to cook, so we don't want to overcook it. However, some folks want it to be well done. So you're going to cook it to suit your taste. Okay, so what we're doing is searing it and then we're going to flip it over. So you can do about two to three minutes per side. The reason we want to use high heat is because we want to get that nice color. If the heat is too low, then it's going to end up being gray instead of getting that beautiful brown. For the cuts that are a little bigger, as I said, you can turn them on their sides like that, okay? Once these are brown, you want to take out the smaller pieces because those cook faster, right? You don't want them to sit in there and overcook. So just take those out, let them rest on a platter, finish cooking the rest, and then take everything out. Now into that same skillet, I'm adding some unsalted butter. Then we're going to cook some ginger and garlic. We want to just uh, cook this in the butter until the garlic is slightly golden. We don't want everything to be brown, okay? So just give this a stir. And right now we're using, you know, low to medium heat because we needed the high heat to sear the lamb, but we don't need high heat at this point. Once the garlic is slightly golden and smells amazing, just pour in that liquid we mixed earlier with the honey and the, the orange juice. And then you can simmer it over medium heat for about an hour. I just added a little fresh thyme. That's optional, but you know, I like adding that fresh thyme. You can simmer this for about a minute just to reduce it, you know, just to get it slightly thicker, just slightly. Then we're going to add the lamb. Remember, the lamb is basically cooked, okay? So it just needs about a minute for you to baste it with that nice honey garlic sauce. But remember, you don't need to simmer it for a very long time.
If you feel like your lamb needs to be more well done, then of course you can simmer it in the sauce for longer just to finish up that cooking. But that is it. Your gorgeous honey garlic lamb chops are done. Let them rest before you serve them. They are going to be so juicy and tender. I just sprinkle on some parsley, of course, you know, for color, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, this is it. It is so delicious. When I'm serving up a lamb, usually my favorite thing is some mashed potatoes. So you can serve it with mashed potatoes. I did some garlic parmesan potatoes and then just some simple sauteed veggies this is just so scrumptious and i can't wait to hear how much you enjoy it once you try please remember to click that down arrow beside the video title that will open up the description box in the description box you'll get to see all the ingredients thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time